so before I do an actual garden tour of like the whole garden, all my flowers and all my plants, I just want to kind of take you guys around to see my tomatoes. I have so many different varieties. Um, that wasn't my intention starting out this garden. My goal wasn't to have a million tomatoes, but it turned out that way. Like I love tomatoes, like I really do. Tomato sandwiches, BLTs, like just eating. My favorite is just coming into the garden and working hard and then just like picking tomatoes off and eating them as I go, just grazing. But anyways, I have so many tomatoes. It got hot quick pacing around there. So I'm gonna sit here in the shade. Um, I have pro I have at least over 12 different varieties of tomatoes that I will walk you through. Um, everything from dwarf and micro tomatoes, which are tomato plants that literally only grow like a foot 16 inches tall and just produce like all these tomatoes, which is super awesome if you're like me and you live in a duplex or an apartment and you have limited space. Uh, so that's really cool. So here's some information about tomatoes. There are two types of tomatoes. There's indeterminate and determinate. Indeterminate tomatoes, for instance, like Early Girl, Black Beauty, The Jubilee, Sun Sugar, Better Boy, things like that. They are indeterminate, which means they will grow. As long as you provide them with the sun and the water and the nutrients they need, they will grow and grow and grow and continue to produce fruit until the frost kills them. Indeterminate tomatoes get to a certain height. They're not tiny ones like the dwarfs I was mentioning. Those are determinate too, but determinate tomatoes will get a decent size. They won't get 10 foot, seven foot tall, but they will get to a decent size, but they will die before frost. They have a certain size that they get to and a certain amount of fruit they produce, and then they're done. Um, as far as container gardening and small space gardening, you would want to kind of work with determinate tomatoes unless you can really make an indeterminate tomato work and you have the space. And as far as dwarf and micro tomatoes are concerned, they usually stay under three foot tall. The tallest dwarf I have is my Vashanka cherry and she will get about three foot tall and but she is a determinate. She will stay at that size. She will reduce the amount of fruit she's supposed to produce and then she'll quit. Um, so I have my dwarf tomatoes at different stages. One's fruiting, uh, the other ones are just barely have their true leaves. Someone has a couple sets of true leaves. And those are really good. Those can be in small containers, like a gallon, half gallon size. I mean, the, the orange hat micro that I have literally gets 10, maybe 16 inches tall and produces all these cute little orange fruit. Um, so that can be an option for you. I did not know that option last year. Um, I didn't necessarily need it because I did have a decent amount of room at the house I have. Um, but that's a really good option and they kind of fit. All right, so enough talking. Let's see these tomatoes. It's too hot outside for coffee, but it's so good. Okay, let's go. All right, so I have a tiny Tim tomato in this kiddie pool. Sweet. I have a, another Tiny Tim, an orange micro. Hey, Mr. Stripey, that's a tomato. I have a, I think this is a Roma, Roma tomato. That's a determinate one. And then I have a Slets tomato. I got that from a seed swap. Vanishka cherry. This one will grow about three foot tall. It's kind of a dwarf. Pretty neat. So that is, let's see, so far that is one, two, three, four, six varieties. <laughs> so we have a Rutger tomato that is a determinate one. And this one is, oh no. So red Sharpie does not do well. This is a sun gold tomato. I've got to remark that one. There's that noisy gas station. Let's go through. Da, da, da. This is an early girl, and she was my best plant last year, so I have quite a few of her this year. She's just a red tomato plant. Let's go over here, and we have the Dancing with Smurfs tomato, which I have three of these, and I'm going to show you they are all different sizes. This one's finally, it's doing something. The other one is smaller but doing something the other one's quite a bit bigger and i'm really excited about those the dancing with smurfs are like black blue on the inside and red on the inside 
black blue on the outside, red on the inside. And uh, I kind of like mini black beauties. It's a cherry tomato plant. This one, I believe, these are both sun sugar. And they're putting off lots of flowers. Sun sugar tomatoes. It's a yellow cherry tomato that's supposed to be super delicious right there with the sun gold. We have a Roma tomato up here. Honestly, don't know which tomato this is. Might be a cherry or a Roma. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know which one this is either. I think it's like a yellow cherry tomato. There's a few I don't know about because there's so many. Okay, we have an early girl right here, another one. She looks super healthy. She doesn't have any, oh, she has some fruit. She's an early girl. This is the other Dancing with Smurfs, you know, the really tiny tomato. This tomato, the other one you haven't seen yet and the one you just saw, were all started from seed by me at the same time. And you know, it's a variety of different ones uh, of how they do. This is another early girl. She probably has 12 tomatoes on her now. So it's just a red, big red tomato. This one is, let's see. This is just a large red cherry tomato. This is my beloved Mr. Stripey who is struggling, but he is looking, he's looking pretty good. I feel like he's got new leaves since a couple days, so that's awesome. And this is a yellow pear tomato. It was labeled yellow tomato with a question mark or yellow tomato, because I bought it, said yellow tomato, just didn't say which one, but those are pear shaped. Those are yellow pears. These are purple tomatillos, still need to mulch, mulch those. And these are the green tomatillos. Make salsa verde from them and salsa whatever from that one. All right, let's get over here. I hid, I ran out of room for my tomatoes, so I started stashing them places. So this is a tiny tin, small red cherry dwarf tomato that'll only get, I don't know, maybe a foot, foot and a half tall. I don't think there's any more tomatoes over here. So, so far we have seen one, two, three, four, five, six tomato plants over here. Seven, eight, nine tomato plants. Let's just start. 10 tomato plants. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 tomato plants. Hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. Now, let's go to the backyard. We have a few tomato plants back here. I think we're up to 17 out in the front. Oh, my backyard's still terrible. So, in the backyard we have another Silette's tomato, Jubilee tomato that's looking rough, maybe dry. A sweet gold. And this one is the Cherokee purple. That one's neat looking. This is gonna be the Black Beauty tomato. It looks like she's doing some kind of funky flower over here. Nope, just a real pretty big one. And then over here we have another Early Girl tomato. And I think this one is a Sweet 100 that I never labeled. And this one is an orange tomato called Jubilee tomato. It's a big orange one. That's another Black Beauty tomato. Uh, she's, you know, trying to do her thing over there. This is the other Dancing with Smurfs tomato that was also started by seed. I started a lot of them from seed. It's, I don't know what it's doing. It's doing something now. It was puny, teeny, tiny for like the longest time. It wasn't dying. It just wasn't growing. And now it's got new tree leaves. So I'm feeling hopeful. There's a tiny tomato, a dwarf tomato. This one's a little bing. So this is a dwarf tomato. This is how they'll be. Um, they only get to a certain size, which is about this size, and then they just start putting off all this fruit. Is that not crazy? And I have this in a kiddie pool, so I have two other tomatoes that'll get about the size of this one and just throw off tomatoes, which is awesome. All right, we're coming to the last of the tomatoes. This is a yellow pear. Have her in a hanging basket. I heard they do well in those. Another orange micro dwarf tomato, orange cherry tomatoes that are supposed to be really yummy. This is a yellow tomato, another one I was like, eh, I don't know, but it's probably gonna end up being a yellow pear because that's what the other one's unlabeled. 
software and then this one is a sun sugar tomato and has quite a bit of fruit so those are all my tomatoes i don't think i left any out and i'm very proud of them and i can't wait to eat them all I forgot one more area. So I had this built this weekend. Super awesome, right? To hold my buckets of tomatoes. I have two more tomato plants over here. One and two. So let's see how much that is. That's 17 from the front yard. 18, 19. 19 plus four, 23 plus five is 28 and plus 29, 30, 31, 32. I have 32 tomato plants. Woo! Look at that guy, isn't he cool? So all in all, I have 36 tomato plants. I went back and checked some of the ones in the kiddie pool that I didn't count, 36 tomato plants. I'm excited for every single one of them. All of them have great, great, great taste reviews. Um, I have probably over 12 or 14 varieties. And when I watched one of my favorite uh, people, she's in Arkansas too, Roots and Refuge Farm, Jess. Um, I literally have one, maybe two of the tomatoes that she mentioned, and she's a super tomato lover, and she has like a million different kinds. She mentioned so many different varieties, I only had two of her varieties, which is insane. I don't know how there's that many tomato plants, but I honestly cannot wait to taste them all. And I wanted to show you guys some neat stuff me and my little did. She wrote this half up here. She said, to everyone who needs inspiration during this pandemic, she put happy summer, we wrote our names. She said, love yourself, be you, don't let anything stop that. Welcome to Inspiration Driveway, take the path that makes you happy. And I wrote, be a kind human, and all we need is love, because it really is all the world needs. It's just more love. If we could just love everyone, man, life would be good. <laughs>